to my channel. I am Love of Fragrance, and man, do I have a recommendation for you today. My recommendation to you happens to be by YSL, and it happens to be Manifesto. YSL Manifesto. Yes, I just opened this box just so that I can simplify this process because sometimes it takes me a while to get into these containers. And this here happens to be a fragrance that I have been in love with for quite some time. You know, I'm obsessed with all of YSL products because they have, you know, fairly extensive product line, especially when it comes to fragrances, which I have happens to be most or more so interested in. But this one particular fragrance here happens to be within the product line of many of their other, several other fragrances that they have in their product line. And you might not believe it, but they are all designed identical to this. In other words, they come in this very same container. The container happens to be identical, but um, it it's kind of confusing as to why they would put them all in the same container. And many individuals find that exceptionally questionable. And so do I. But just to name a few of them, they have one by the name of Udi Parfum. And this one has Udi Parfum, but they have another one identical to this. And they have one that's Udi Parfum Elixir. And they have one uh, Udi Parfum Elixir. And they have one that's an Udi Parfum Spray several of them but this one right here happens to be um distinguishing in its own right this here is such an adorable fragrance so exquisitely designed and i am highly impressed with the overall compartmentalizing of the notes they compartmentalize these particular notes in such an elemental process to the point where it's undeniably enticing this is so unique and so different. The fragrance in itself is captivating and absolutely divine. But before we get to that, I want you to know that this little container that you're looking at right here, I find it absolutely adorable. And I don't have any objections to it, but I think some women might find it a little offensive because it appears to be a um, container that's shaped like a woman's uh, figure, the, their physique. And when you take it into consideration, it appears to be of a novelty type product uh, with the overall design. It appears to be novelty. And it appears to have here like a belt around a lady's waist. And it's like a hourglass figure from my perspective. I think it appears to be more of an hourglass figure. I don't have any objections to that because it symbolizes femininity, I think. It symbolizes a woman's physique. Uh, but I can see where it could be a little offensive because it's more, I would say, detailed to where it exemplifies this here. I remember commercial where a woman took a tape measure and put it around her waist and they squeezed her waist really, really, really tight. And that appears to be like here we have this here amethyst uh, like a look like a napkin ring <laughs> around the bottle but it isn't a napkin ring I, mean, I, I would perceive it's an amethyst belt around a woman's waist that's what i see but anyways there are so many uh containers that they have designed in the same maybe in a different product line of course same brand different product line with the same uh pretty um simulated um design um, the design is identical, but the fragrance apparently is unique and distinguishing in its own right. And I find this here not offensive in any manner. I think it's fairly cute, but I look at it as a novelty design in itself. But anyways, this here particular fragrance, when you taste, smell this scent, I love it. I really do. I love it. And you know, love of fragrances. She isn't bringing home anything she doesn't love. So don't get tired of me telling you that I love a fragrance because if it, it wouldn't be on my channel if I didn't find 
is attractive enough to present it to you. It will not be here on Love of Fragrance channel. And that's why I say I love it because I do love it. Not because this is the first time I have smelled this particular scent. I have several YSL products and I am captivated literally by YSL brand as a whole. But if they had a product lined up, a line that I didn't like, I want you to know that I would be honest, I would tell you. But this one right here, I find exquisitely divine. And the reason I do is because of the fact of the aroma that it projects. And it, um, I haven't put any fragrance on it yet, so I'm going to spray this on me. I find it to be a very squeaky clean fragrance. And it's layered with, um, it appears to be patchouli. And honey, the vanilla in here is potent. Potent, potent. It's so exquisitely divine until the point where it's captivating and it's standing out like a statue right in front of all the other notes. All the other notes take a back seat to this vanilla in this particular fragrance because of the fact that it must be the most dominant note in this particular fragrance because it's so exquisitely overly, not overly powering, but overly charmed with vanilla and it's very obviously distributed there and the components I guess are aligned with one another to the point where it also smells as if they have a little bit of lemon y berries in here which is also elevates the overall fragrance as a whole and which I find very enticing very exquisitely divine and it's reminiscing of a YSL flower bomb yes that's what I get from this is reminiscent of the YSL flower bomb. If you have any perception of exactly what the flower bomb smells like, you I, to give you a, a clear simulation of exactly what type of fragrance that I am detecting from this fragrance here, just take into consideration if you ever smelled YSL flower bomb, you can relate to the fact that what this fragrance would possibly smell like and I'm giving you a clear description now it's almost very similar to that but not exactly identical because I think the lemon white berries is what give it that transcending alluring distinction and I find it very appealing and also the the notes in here predominantly consist of uh, woody oriental a fragrant type of notes and also it has a bergamot and I've already informed you of the vanilla and it also in it, it's in compartmentalized with a jasmine lily of the valley and some black currant and I have noticed by going through my description of variations of fragrances that I have determined that that black currant sometimes make a very clear description of exactly what the fragrance is going to overall um, smell like because of the fact that it's a the dominant note as well. It's dominating the overall fragrance scent, the aroma that it's projecting. The black currant dominates it and it's more compartmentalized with the um, vanilla which happens to be extremely potent. And it's also making a determination of exactly whether or not the fragrance is going to be applied to your body and have a specific type of dry down. And when I applied this one, see, I've had this on this hand for a while. And when I first smelt it, I was able to determine exactly what type of notes I felt. I perceive was most prominent in this particular fragrance which I indicated to you that I could definitely smell the clean sweet smell of musk in here and I also made it very distinguishing to you that I smelled the patchouli and the vanilla cream but now that it's dried down there isn't any distinction in the flavor I mean the scent From when you first spray it on your body, either the first test of scent that go, that's applied towards your body, I want you to know that it doesn't have to dry down and then penetrate all the other notes before you get receive the accurate um, 
aroma of the particular scent. I want you to understand that this particular fragrance, when you first apply it to your body, that's the true aroma that you're going to attain for the duration of the time that this fragrance on your body, and it's a, absolutely an adorable fragrance, and it has an opulence of loveliness. Yes, it has an op op opulence of loveliness that's very revealing and very informative toward the wearability of this particular fragrance. You find it very attractive. But I want you to know that this particular container happens to be designed specifically as an indication of sophistication. Yes, it's a very sophisticated fragrance, but not only that, this particular fragrance was designed for a specific occasion, and that specific occasion happens to be an office environment. So I want you to know that this fragrance is appropriate for you to wear <clears throat> throughout an office environmental type of a position um, in an executive environment for the duration of time that you are wearing because it isn't too offensive, it isn't too uh, undetectable, and it isn't annoying in any way, but it has an alluring scent. It has an alluring scent, and it's very ob obvious that you are wearing this fragrance, but it's very attractive on a feminine body, and it's very distinctive, and you're going to find it very appealing, and I just want you to know that. You're going to find it very appealing, but I have selected this particular fragrance for my Lux Fragrance of the Week. And the reason I classified as my Lux Fragrance of the Week because of the fact that I would prefer to wear this first particular fragrance, not just within a work environment or an executive environment. I would love to wear this fragrance throughout the entire week. So I want you to know that I have specifically decided I was going to take many of my specific fragrance and establish them as a week-long wear for my fragrances. One individual fragrance per, per week for me to wear for the duration of that week. And this one has been selected by me for this particular week. And not just in an office environment, for the entire week, no matter where I'm going, if I'm going out to... Um, the club, if I'm going out to a party, if I'm going out to uh, lunch, if I'm going out to dinner, if I'm going to work in an office environment as they have recommended, or if I am going out on a hot day, it doesn't matter. This is going to, this will be, this will definitely be my particular fragrance for the week. And I highly recommend that you make this your particular fragrance for one particular week. And I tr trust me. I guarantee you will fall in love with it, as I have. And you have a wonderful afternoon, and I thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye.